Well, welcome back uh, to Business Live. Harrison Mati likes to do business and has tried his hands at virtually everything. But it is his quest to start a restaurant that is working for him. He's now aiming to start a chain of restaurants. On today's business van, uh, we are headed for 1115, which is becoming the place to hang out. To you by Echo Bank, the Pan African Bank, and MTN everywhere you go. Hey, welcome to this episode of the Joy Business Fan. It's 11.15, not the time, but where we are at uh, today. Um, and I'm excited about it because it's uh, the first time we are shooting a restaurant. Yes, it is. Come along, let me show you where we are headed. Hi, Daryl. Welcome. Good to see you. Yeah. Wow. This, this is our, our lounge. Cool. We have it. We have two other private spaces. Wow. There's a VVIP lounge. All my life, I've tried very much to start something on my own, and I believe that in solving problems, we we get to make money. So that's where I think I find myself. There's, there's anything that drives me. And there's a hope that you can solve a problem and make some money out of it. If you're looking for someone who is very entrepreneurial, then it's got to be Harrison Mati. I've been into bicycle rental, I've been a shoemaker before, I've been a farmer, I've tried fashion a bit, and I mean, I've tried a few things. I've tried a few projects here and there in fisheries and then in solar. And I can say I've failed in, in a few, or oh, in a lot, and I've learned a lot of lessons from, from them as well. It was what he learned from his mom's chop bar that would make him interested in starting a restaurant. When I was the youngest boy, so I was usually the person around helping with cooking and anything that she needed uh, an assistant with. So I picked up a few other tricks from her. Then when I went to university, I cooked a lot. So I figured out that, oh, okay, I had picked a lot of the traits from my mom so I could be a good cook. I tried monetizing that on campus, but it didn't work. Then, fast forward, I graduated from school, looking for a job, nothing was coming up. And I said, okay, why not start a food joint and then see what I could do. A determined Harrison opened his first 1115 restaurant in 2019 at Lakeside, a suburb of Accra. It was a bit of a struggle at the beginning. It was, it was heartbreaking when we opened a second day and there was no single sale. Yeah, it, it was just me buying food. So that was that would pay salaries from out of pocket. I mean, we are not making enough to pay people, but we still had to run. And I also hadn't understood the business the way I do now. With time, Harrison got a grasp of it and was able to make enough to open another branch of 1115 at Adrigano. Consistency in the kitchen is very important for Harrison. Once in a while, he steps in there. This is our signature dish. This is called a jungle rice. It's called jungle rice because it's more like you are in a jungle. Whatever fruit, uh, snail, there's mushroom, there's sausage, there's goat, uh, <laughs> there's chicken. Whatever protein is available, there's beef. Whatever protein you have available, you add to this. Our side is we, we do local dishes from Banku, Pufu, Omutio, Ampesi. We, run, we have local dishes on our menu, continental, we have the fried rice, all the rice dishes that you can think of. But I'll recommend that anytime you come in, you try out. Or hold exclusive celebratory events with fun games and activities like painting and some good music. Harrison shows me 1115's exclusive lounges. So this is our lounge, uh, sales, and there's a lot of fun in here compared to what you have outside. So outside is calmer, but here you usually will be in a party mood if you come in here. Yeah, so I guess usually during the weekends, this place is 
Yeah, that's very what, busy. Yeah, that's what we are hoping for. Because and then, then there's a VIP lounge. This is actually a VVIP lounge. Okay. So this is for like VVIP. Yes. Very so, bright. Yes, all white. The COVID-19 pandemic has been the greatest. We moved from sittings to deliveries. So currently we do 70% delivery on Lakeside. That also takes a lot of, eases the pressure. Also eases the pressure on the, on the branch. And then I will also say that it was also because of COVID that we were able to get this, this particular space. Because I, as at the time we were packing out for the branch, we had to shut down after a week. Uh, we didn't even have all the money to pay at, I mean, when we walked in. And I'm sure that if it wasn't for COVID, with the kind of people who are here, uh, it would have been easy for someone to just pay off that money once and then take it to the way. There's been a good side. Harrison has got great hopes for the future. There are potentials in Kumasi. I wouldn't be surprised if I find myself in Kumasi in the next two years. Yeah, we'll probably do a few more branches in Accra. We have not started yet. That was something that we are looking at. That, I mean, even with COVID, we can still do. And for the business as a whole, we are hoping to expand to East Africa. And if you're wondering what 1115 signifies, well, it's a question you could ask Harrison when by chance you meet him up at the restaurant. The Joy Business Van was brought to you by Ecobank, the Pan-African Bank, and MTN everywhere you go.